All right, so I know I've never made a video on this game either, but you know, it, we're all about getting into new games. Come on. But uh, as we speak, I have COVID. I know you probably can't hear it. I'm not feeling that over the weather. I'm, I'm feeling actually pretty under the weather right now. We do not. But um, after about six weeks, we finally have some sneak peeks of uh, new character stuff and uh, the final move for martial artists. And I know a lot of fanboys are already saying to me, KJ was released too, or KJ was sneak peeks too. Yeah, I know. I know. I don't really know how KJ is going to work. Like for all the, the TSB nerds in the, the video, like, is he going to be free or is he going to be like a developer access only thing or like private server only thing? Like, how is it going to work? I, I have no idea. But um, let's check out the new moves. So I know a lot of people are confused and asking, what character is this? What character is this? So if we look here, you can obviously see like metal tentacles and like an, a launching like bug kind of like a device that explodes. Now, I don't know what this is. I have no idea, but it's Snailiel, the guy who used to own Anime Showdown. So obviously he has to be cooking with something. And for the KJ move, it's actually, I don't know if it's TZ that made it or if it's TZ that's using it, but if he made it, that's pretty cool. It looks really good too. Obviously, that's his 21 series, like the dancing thing. It's it's so cool. I love KJ. I hope that it releases for the public, but I, I honestly doubt it. But if we look here, uh, the character is Child Emperor. So obviously, not many people know about this character. He's kind of like one of the underrated ones. Not even underrated. He's just like under the radar, but um, he's pretty cool. And he actually becomes pretty cool too. Like he's not just a, a stupid little kid. Like he actually has some pretty cool modes and stuff. So I don't know why people are hating saying that like this update is going to be terrible. The moves like terrible. Like I think it's going to be pretty cool, but it's probably <laughs> most realistically, it's probably going to be a running support character. Like I don't really see this being good in ones, obviously, unless you run. Like I feel like it's just going to be you run, spam moves, and then keep running when they're on cooldown. Like realistically, I don't see this being a good a good character. So I think this is kind of what the move is that we're seeing in the Discord, where it kind of just launches himself at it and then it explodes. Now I think they changed up the the look a little bit, maybe. I don't really know how, but it looks more like mechanic in the Discord. And then obviously this move, it actually looks pretty damn decent because it's gonna grab, I guess, four people. That's how many tentacles he has, or maybe three. I don't know, in the show he has four, but it looks like in game he only has three, or what we can at least see from this picture it has three. They also said that martial artists will finally be free after this update. Obviously they only got to finish the last move, so that's pretty cool as well. People won't have to pay for martial artists, even though I can already imagine all the spam and brain dead that is going to be going on. So all credit goes to this guy, the Zone Gaming Go. I'm assuming they're going to take like moves and stuff off of like the games or the show. So maybe the M1s will be him summoning the metal tentacle. Like, I don't know. He just has so much move potential and it really sucks because I feel like people are going to just say that he's a running character and kind of like hate on it. But I kind of like the direction they're going with not just adding like mainstream characters because obviously they very could have easily went with that. Like Boros, I know a lot of people have been saying Boros, they wanted it before like martial artists and Tatsumaki because Boros is just cool, obviously. He was like the main focus on season one for villains at least. And that's when I had the best animation, so obviously. Also for this move right here, I'm probably going to assume that it's just KJ. Like I don't really, I can't imagine it being anything else like realistically. It looks like KJ, obviously it has that black and red lightning effect around it, which makes it look like a black flash, but it's probably obviously just KJ, or not even probably, it, it definitely is KJ. Like there's no realistic situation where it's not KJ. Snailio working on it though is pretty cool. Like he actually has really good effects, especially with the, the AXS situation. But yeah, I think, I think Child Emperor is going to be pretty promising, even if it's like a support character. Oh brother, wait, I didn't even take a peep at this. Is this another grab move? Oh man, oh man. Martial Artist might just be the most annoying moveset in TSB. Wow. I think this this looks to be another grab move. Uh, people can tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, because I'm sure you guys have seen more sneaks than I have. But this looks like... It. How, how does the other move look? Like you kind of just stomp and then it grabs him and puts him in a cutscene and does like 60% <laughs> damage. 
This looks like it's gonna be about the same thing. So it looks like the dragon grabs them and then it'll probably like throw them around or something, maybe bite them or I don't know. But obviously this is the last move before it gets the free release situation and I, th I think we all know how that goes. Also while we look here, uh, so for equipment, obviously I'm looking at the wiki because I'm not that huge of a fan that I would know every single move. But if we look here, backpack, Child Emperor wears a large backpack that looks like a regular school bag. The backpack contains large spider-like limbs that Child Emperor can use for transportation, combat, or even fly. Oh brother. But uh, for possible moves, these are what we have. So Okame-chan, a mask-shaped device capable of determining the physical strength of an individual. I don't, I don't think that's going to be obviously underdog man robots that's like the little dog thing that we went over the little robot that jumps on them which i think is the move that they sneak peeked in the discord now we have tickle tickle bug too this is an interesting one so it's a bug like robot that crawls around on the enemy skin tickling them until they die of asphyxiation from laughing so uh, <laughs> yeah i don't know if they're gonna make that a thing like just imagine like you use a move and then they're just on the ground laughing like it could be a cool stun move i guess but it would be pretty hard to balance i assume and then we have brave giant which i'm assuming might be part of his ultimate so maybe if you mode you become part of the mech or so i don't know man but it's a giant mech suit piloted by child emperor for the raid oh, i'm not gonna read that it can only last around two minutes and 38 seconds so i could see this being either part of his ultimate or just like the whole ultimate in general but um yeah, honestly, I think that or Birdlime shotgun. That's pretty cool. Hey, I'm, I'm not against all these moves. But yeah, these are these are possible moves I can see coming with them. But yeah, I mean, obviously people are going to hate on this, this new character because it's not it's not Boros and it's not King or whoever else. Like it's obviously like it's an underground character. Like people are going to be hating on it, of course. But I, I like the direction they're going. I obviously, I kind of hope they add Boros next. I mean, they probably won't. Or maybe like even if they added like Dogman next, like I think that would be kind of cool. But uh, you guys, let me know what you guys think about this possible update. I think it's probably going to drop this weekend. Obviously, like realistically, that's when they drop updates. You know, when they're not on hiatus for seven weeks. But yeah, that's uh possible future update or not even possible but can someone just please let me know what kj is going to be like if it's going to be free or if it's going to be like just a developer or private server type thing like i can't really imagine a world where it's in public servers because literally everyone would just use it but who knows maybe i'm just yapping and babbling about it and uh yeah we'll have three moves so obviously these three two oh there's only two here but you know, obviously, I'm going to assume that one of the movesets that I just watched is going to be part of it. Like, I don't... I, I'm going to assume they take it either from the game or from the show. But, uh, yeah, that's it.